Big cities don't stop growing, but can they do it sustainably? Stockholm is one of Europe's fastest growing capitals, and yet it plans to have a positive carbon footprint by 2040. The city has just been named the smartest city in the world for its innovations regarding the environment, digital technology, and the well being of its residents. Let's take a look at some of the solutions for the cities of tomorrow. This low energy district is an example of the efforts that have been made. As part of the European Grow Smarter project, these public apartments have been refurbished to reduce their climate impact. We find electric cars and bicycle sharing, as well as a new kind of waste management system. Here, each type of rubbish has a different coloured bag. An optical sensor and weighing scales allow individual processing of waste. They need feedback on their cell phones in real time. So if they put in uh, food waste, for instance, and uh, Mrs. Svensson uh, have uh, get feedback immediately. Now, thank you, Mrs. Svensson. Now you have contributed with 1.2 kilograms of food waste. That will end up as biogas. And in the future, they can pay as they throw as well. Under the ground in high pressure tubes, the waste is transported to a single collection center. Less space needed, and fewer garbage trucks on the road. Sustainable urban mobility is one of the priorities of the Swedish capital, which recently installed these sensors near the city's stadium. They collect a large variety of data, aimed at helping the city implement a more efficient transport policy. Historically, you have been waiting for one, maybe one or two years to get the data. Now you get near-time data only 15 minutes old. So if you have taken a decision and you have implemented something, you get instant feedback on the results, which is very good. For Stockholm, reducing emissions also means tackling energy waste, like the heat produced by data centers, which abound here, as in other increasingly connected cities. This data storage company feeds into the district heating system, thanks to a heat pump facility financed as part of the project. We have a greener data center, then instead of wasting the heat out of the air, we also get money back from the district heating, of course, because they're buying our heat. In 2019, the district heating network was able to heat 30,000 apartments, not only thanks to the heat recovered from the data center, but also from supermarkets, even crematoriums. The company hopes to expand systems like this and open its network even more. We will have small, uh, small production units scattered on the district heating network and all this production that comes into the network we, we avoid to produce in our pro, uh, production plants and we then by that have an in increased production mix. Twelve such solutions have been implemented in Stockholm and two other lighthouse cities, Barcelona and Cologne. The Grow Smarter project's closing party took place in the Swedish capital a chance for the mayor to put forward her ambitious climate goals. We are developing this new technique with the carbon capture and storage. And we think that with this new technique, uh, combined with our uh, district heating system that are fossil fuel free today, uh, we can create a climate positive city, the first in the world by 2040. Some of these solutions may soon be implemented in other European cities, such as Porto, Valletta and Cork.